The Hirengrak ship carrying F-39 Gripen fighter jets Fab 4108 arrives at the port of Navigants in Santa Catarina, Brazil on September 23, 2024. This is the ninth Saab Gripen aircraft ordered by Brazil for the Brazilian Air Force Fab. After the ship docked at the port, the F-39 Gripen fighters were then transported in the early hours of the morning by road to Navidence Airport, like the previous aircraft. The first Gripen Fab Fab 4100 arrived in September 2020 and was transferred to the JSCT Gripen Flight Test Center in Gavio Paxoto SP. While the other seven fighters, Fab 4101 to 4107, were assigned to the 1st Air Defense Group 1st GDA at the Annapolis Air Base Bond, in Goyas. After arriving at Navigants Airport, FAB's 9th Gripen fighter jet was prepared for flight tests before being flown to Annapolis Air Base Bond. Brazil purchased 36 Gripen NGs, consisting of 28 Gripen E single seat and 8 Gripen F tandem seat. At FAB, the Swedish fighter jet received a new code as F390F Gripen equipped with an Israeli-made network communication system. For additional information, the FABF-39 Gripen fighter jet is equipped with e-links to airborne software Find Radio, which is an ad hoc network communication system Vane based on data links, both for air-to-air -air and air-to-ground communications. Testing of this system has been carried out by first integrating it into the Northrop F-5 FAB fighter aircraft. During the test, the F-5 and the ground team jointly intercepted the target. The F-5 was supplied with information from the radar on the ground and quickly closed the communication circuit through the sensor to shooter loop as part of the multi-dimensional arena. The test proved to be able to improve the capabilities of the F-5 and therefore was later integrated into the latest Saab Gripen E fighter jet as originally intended. The program was fully developed by local company AL Systemas a subsidiary of Elbit Systems from Israel. The E-Links technology uses IP-based voice routing, combined with two-way data transfer carried out in an extended range. The entire process is carried out simultaneously in both wideband and narrowband spectrum.